Hey, this is the Fight Nerd, and joining me now is former Strike Force middleweight champ and UFC middleweight contender, Mr. Kung Lee. Mr. Kung Lee, how are you tonight? I'm doing good. Just sitting here with the kids watching Ben Ben. Now, the last time we saw you was uh, at the first UFC event in China, where you knocked out Rich Franklin. So, uh, tell us how you've been since that fight. I've just been uh, just uh, spending time with the family, my wife, my kids, and just uh, recovering from uh, elbow surgery. And how's that uh, recovery going so far? Recovery and rehab is going really good. Okay, that's good to hear. Now, uh, a little bit more about that event in China. Uh, that was the first time the UFC had ever came to China before, so just tell us what, you know, what it was like being there and also being on the same poster uh, as Bruce Lee, which I know uh, you're a big fan of Bruce. I've seen you in the I Am Bruce Lee documentary, so just tell us what a big deal it was to be part of that event. Well, first of all, being a part of that event was it was like a dream come true. One, it was the first time UFC's been there. Two, I was the main event fighting a legend in Rich Franklin. And uh, how it ended was amazing. So uh, on many levels, it was very special. And, you know, I, I couldn't ask for anything more. Yeah, it was a great event all around. Uh, what do you think about the, the Asian MMA market right now? I mean, do you think this is going to be the new big place for MMA to hit? I definitely feel like the, the Asian market would be the next big market. We just, you know, I think UFC should um, you know, focus and build that market slowly but surely. Yeah, it's definitely going to be, uh, it already is a big boom market, and it's no doubt going to get much bigger from here. Now, uh, I know right now you're busy recovering and rehabbing that elbow, but do you have any uh, any plans or any possible rumors about uh, who you might be facing when you come back to the UFC? I, I was hearing Anderson Silva's name that's been tossed around a little bit. Yeah, you know, um, Anderson's camp threw my name in, threw my name in the mix, and you know, I would definitely if that one fight I had a fast track uh, to get back in. I would definitely, uh, definitely uh, do my best to get back in, you know, and uh, train hard, and uh, hoping that if everything worked out, um, I, you know, Anderson and myself would uh, be a coach of the tough uh, show, and then you know, after the show, you know, go through the same classes. And then uh, end up, uh, you know, uh, meeting at the, you know, meeting after the show. So uh, that would be, you know, that would be the picture perfect deal that would would happen. But you know, obviously, um, right now it doesn't look that way. So um, you know, but anything could happen. Never say never. Yeah, that'd be a fun match to see. Absolutely. And uh, you know, right now it seems that Chris Wyman is the guy to beat in the UFC middleweight division. And stylistically, he's he's a pretty different fighter from you. I mean, how do you think you two would match up if you had to face him? You know, I don't know. I, I, I think Chris is uh, a, a big 185-pounder, uh, and he has really good wrestling and jiu-jitsu, and, uh, you know, um, that's why he's the number one contender. But, you know, I don't know how we would match up, you know. Um, you know, right now, I, you know, the talk with me and Anderson, and, you know, I, you know for me, uh, that would be, you know, the, the fight that I would really, really be excited for. Yeah, that'd be, again, a great, great, exciting fight to see. Uh, now, outside of the fight world, though, this is a big year also for your film career. Coming out later this year, uh, you've got Dragon Eyes coming out, which stars uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme alongside yourself. So tell us about uh, this movie. Well, you know, Dr uh, Dragon Eyes been out. Um, you know, it did its um, tour on, like, a, a film festival to 10 different cities, uh, you, know, in, 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 you know, on the big screen. Then it went to On Demand and... Um, then, you know, it did a circuit where, you know, you buy the DVD and, and you know, either watch it on pay-per-view or on demand. And then now, now it's made its way to Cinemax. And I believe for the next month it'll be on Cinemax and it moves to um, HBO. So um, at the same time, I had the Mount with Iron Fist come out two weeks before my fight against Rich Franklin. And then um, and now uh, the Mount with Iron Fist just hit the, um, the DVD and on demand. And if you look on demand, uh, like, you know, on Comcast for me, uh, I have second billing next, right next to Russell Crowe, and it, and it says my name, Kung Lee, so which is pretty exciting. Then you got me on Cinemax, and then also on, uh, I believe it's on Spike TV. Uh, I, you know, it was an old movie I did with Channing Tatum called Fighting. And then on Showtime, we have um, a bodyguard and a statue going. So, you know, I think that, you know, there's like four or five movies, uh, you know, out there, and um, that's not including 
reading of the Grand Masters that's uh, in theaters now in all of uh, you know um, the Pacific Rim and China, and that movie just uh, was bought by the Weinstein, and I don't know if they're going to take it to the theaters or if it's going to make its way to you know the circuit from you know on demand and all that. So I'm pretty excited about you know what's going on and. I'm actually working on a few projects with, uh, um, just, I, I have a few other projects that I'm, you know, I'm working with a writer with, uh, called Targets. We're, we're done with that. And, uh, uh Russell Peters and myself, we, we got, you know, um, uh, like, a, a synopsis that we're working with a few different writers, you know, to, to get going, kind of like a Russia on meat steak out. And, you know, so I, I, I you know, it's just while I'm recovering up, I'm just making sure that I'm staying busy and, uh, you know, so I don't go crazy. <laughs> no, you sound like you're definitely staying very, very busy right now. Now, uh, <clears throat> I heard that uh, Targets is uh, also being made with the RZA. Is that correct? Well, um, right now, RZA, um, that would be my first choice as the, as the you know, as the director because I, I had such a good time and I saw what he can do with the Metal Iron Fist. But, you know, it's just, it, it all depends on his schedule and, you know, my schedule. And hopefully we can come together with um, both our schedules working out. So if that can work out, that would be great. But right now it's just, uh, you know, um, we are in talk with, you know, each other and trying to work things out. And, uh, you know, Man with the Iron Fist was a great homage to a lot of the classic kung fu movies. Uh, you know, why do you think that the RZA is just so good at really adapting it to... Uh... To, to this this new modern format, you know, it, it seems like he has just a very big respect for that genre. Yeah, you know, um, I think you know, um, with his knowledge and with him being mentored by Quentin Tarantino, and he got this first movie out of the way, and it's like old school, you know, shop hunter, um, you know, type movie, and Target is a more modern day movie where it's, uh, you know. Um, an ex uh, Secret Service uh, agent is protecting, uh, like the the daughter of a billionaire, um, from all the assassins around the world. Which is, you know, uh, like like uh, I would say it would be like a man on fire meets the uh, blood sport. So I heard for uh, Dragon Eyes that you actually got to train with Jean Claude Van Damme for the film. So uh, you know, tell us a bit about what it was like to work with uh, a guy like that. Well, you know, I really didn't train with him, but. He asked me a lot about what I like, what vitamins I take. So I just kind of took him to Whole Foods and showed him all the vitamins that I take, which are like mostly food based. And um, I got what I did was I choreographed all the fight scenes in the movie and um, cast a lot of the, the you know, the, the stunt guys and, and the fighters and, and um, you know, just different characters in the movie. I, I, I cast about. 80% of the, the, the other cast members in the movie from the, the, the Russian gang to the, the other, the black gang and uh, choreograph uh, all these fight scenes uh, with the help of my trainer, Scott Sheen. And it turned out that we won best fight in the film festival um, action set. So, uh, and not, not only did we just win it, um, Second and third place runner up was um, the fight team from uh, Dragon Eye. Yeah, so what would you say is, is harder to do, getting ready for a fight or making a movie happen? You know, I, it would just depend. It's hard in, you know, in, a different, you know, in a different ways. You can get ready for a fight, actually, the body, uh, you know, physically, and sometimes mentally, but, you know, if you love doing it, Time goes by quick because you're, you love to do what you do, and I love to do what I do. And, you know, uh, preparing for a movie, whether it's um, being the star of the movie, being the lead villain in the movie, or choreographing the fight. Um, but I, I would say um, Dragon Eyes would be the toughest movie that I've done right now because I had to choreograph all the fights, uh, cast a lot of the uh, you know, movie I, I cast Dan Henderson. Joseph Melendez, and even I cast Josh Thompson, but he was getting ready to go to Japan and, and, and fight, but I, you know, that Trevor Prangle in there, and there's a whole bunch of other fighters, and um, it was just a lot of work, and it felt like time went by so fast, but yeah, no, you know, it was, uh, you know, we're, we're getting ready for the next day, and the next shoot, and getting the, the next group of guys that can 
very cool. Yeah, and, uh, you know, again, it's going to be a big, big film year for you. Um, before we wrap up, I mean, is there anything else that uh, you want to promote uh, on the uh, on this interview? I just want to say thanks to all the fans for supporting me. And um, um, I'm going to work hard and, All right, well, we appreciate you doing what you're doing, and that's kicking butt. So, uh, Mr. Kong Lee, thank you very much for your time, and uh, good luck this year with all the upcoming movie releases. Okay.